Why check your grade and understood considering the strategic situation can be begin? All right, good evening, sir. Um, I'll come into the station, I'll wash my hands and then introduce myself to the patient. Good evening. I am um, Dr. Ajayi, um, um, a SHO um, in this hospital. I've been asked to interact with you. Um, can I go ahead, um, sir? Yes, of course. Okay, sir. Um, what's your name, sir? I'm Nadine. Your age? Okay, your age, sir? 56. Okay, sir. Um, uh, can I just call you Nadim, Nadim, sir? Yes, you can. All right, Nadim. Um, uh, I, 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 um, what brought you to the hospital, sir? What's the so really problem? Yes, doc. I had this, um, you know, right in the back of my throat for the last few weeks, and it is gradually increasing. The discomfort oh. and your problem with eating. So, can you please oh. help me? Oh, so sorry, Nadia. Uh, we'll do our best. Um, I'll um, ask you a few questions and then um, we'll get to uh, probably then subsequently, then we'll get to decide how best we're going to tackle it. Is that okay? Okay. All right. So, um, for how many weeks now have you had this um, throat problem? Well, roughly two months. Okay. So, sorry about that. Um, so, um, how did you notice it? And then uh, um, has it rapidly increased and has it disappeared at any point in time? Well, initially I had a uh, slight discomfort, but I ignored it. And uh, then I found that uh, taking solid foods, uh, I found it difficult to swallow. Oh. Sometimes it was also painful. Okay, so sorry about that. Um, have you? Um, what about um? Uh, as but what about liquids? Can you comfortably swallow liquids now? What about the please repeat? Liquids, um, water, um, yeah, or any so other food. liquids? I can swallow. There is not much problem with that. Okay, so does at any point, um, do you notice that the food gets stuck? At what point does it get stuck? Is it at, at the level of your throat or in your chest? Or... Sometimes I have some burning in the chest. But mostly okay. it's in the upper throat, you can see. Okay. All right. So sorry, Nadim. Um, have you also noticed that... Um, um, have you noticed any weight loss? Mm, yes. Almost two to three kg. Oh, so sorry about that. Um, while you're swallowing, have you have you noticed any pain when you're swallowing? Yes, I mentioned that uh, at times uh, I do have some discomfort. Maybe you can say a little pain. Okay, so sorry about that, um, Nadine. Um, about how about um, any other swelling, any other part of your body? Well, uh, gradually I'm facing difficulty in swelling. Okay. Uh, some liquids. Okay, I, I mean, do you have any neck swelling, any swelling in your groin or any other part of your body? No, I have not noticed yet, doctor. Okay, any change in your voice? Have you noticed any change in your voice? Well, at times there is some irritation while I talk in my throat, but no apparent change. Oh, so sorry about that. Um, have, have you, um, do, do you have a partner you stay with, um, especially at night when you sleep? In the same room with someone? I have not noticed. Okay, did anyone tell you um, maybe you've been snoring recently? Um, while sleeping? No, no. Okay. Um, do you have um, fever? Temperature, occasional temperature is not obvious. Okay. Any difficulty breathing? Mm, not so much. Okay. What about problem with your um, uh, any abdominal swelling, swelling in your stomach? Mm, uh, occasional bloating and uh, oh. you know discomfort in tummy, but not much. Okay. So, is there anyone in your family that has a similar symptom like this? No, I have never seen. Okay. Has you, have you had similar symptoms in the past before this two two months ago? You know, doctor, it's for the first time, it's for the last few weeks, I am noticing this weird thing. I'm so sorry about that. Any history of cough before or 
um, chronic cough or difficulty Only or any cough. Um, night sweats. Okay, so no cough, no night sweats. No. Or contact the chronically coughing person. No. Okay, have you had any recent travel in the past? Any history of recent travel? No, I just traveled 10 years back to Sri Lanka, not now. Okay, so um, um, following this um, problem, did you, um, is there anything you've done um, to, for this, or this is your first time you're coming to see a doctor for it? Well, I thought that uh, it may be some throat discomfort, so I used goggles, but that didn't mm -hmm. work. Okay, so have you um, had any, um, are you, are you, have you had any previous surgeries in the past? No, not at all. Do you have any medical conditions? No, apart from hypertension, I have nothing. Okay, so sorry about that. Um, do you, uh, how's the home front? Are you, um, are you married? Um, what occupation do you do? Yes, I'm married and I have six children. Okay. Can you present your case thank now? you. Thank you very much. I would have loved to ask him about his um, um, I, um ideas, concern, and expectations, and also yes. would have loved to um talk Family. about his uh, com yes, ma'am, from the history, and I would also have loved to talk about his family history and um, social history, whether he consumes alcohol or he smokes, and then talk about his um, medication history. Um, okay. medication history. Yes, yes. ma'am. Um, um, however, I've um, interacted with Mr. Nadim, a 56-year-old, um, who um, presented with um, a two-month history of um, um, difficulty swallowing, especially to solids, and um, 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 also has a history of weight loss, of, uh, um, history of weight loss and so he's a non-hypertensive. Yes. Um, he has no um, known um, aside that, he has no other comorbidities. Um, he is, um, I, I think um, he has um, a, um, a tonsillar swelling, likely um, um, a malignant one. That's because of the weight loss, um, rapid increase considering it took over just two months to increase in size. Other so differential diagnosis can be, so it can be a squamous cell carcinoma, or a non-Hodgkin's um, lymphoma. You can also okay. of the um, larynx or um, pharynx. Um, so how would you confirm your diagnosis? Um, um, I would want to do um, a, a, um, um, a pharyngo, sophago, um, a scope, a panscopy actually of both the pharynx, um, the larynx, and the um, oesophagus, and then um, to and then assess the airway, um, upper airway, and that's the pharynx, and take a biopsy um, of it, and then also um, yes. using flow cytometry to assess. Um, so what also are the treatment to... options that you can offer to this patient? Yes, ma'am. Um, the treatment options depends on the cost. If it is infective, I would give um, intravenous antibiotics. Uh, however, if it is neoplastic, and then um, I would also um, give, I can also do um, stage. Initially, I want if it's my malignant, I would want to stage. I want to do a CT scan of the neck, MRI, um, investigate, do a full blood count, urine, creatinine, and then I would then discuss the patient in the MDT, and then do a um, neck dissection. And, um, plus um, tonsillectomy. I'd also consider um, radiotherapy for the patient, depending on the stage of the disease. Okay, good. Uh, yes, feedback. Dr. Madin, can you give feedback first? Yes, again, this question. Yes, uh, it was good. Yeah. Patient was talking what about it. What he right. can improve uh, then, on? One, one, one thing, I think, blood test, I think there is one uh, antibody test heterophil in the blood picture to rule out glandular fever in the investigation. Yes, monospot, monospot test. Yes, monospot. And yeah. the other is MRI, MRI or yes. CT scan staging. Yes, and I mentioned rule out that. Any, any lymph nodes to do biopsy of that. Yes. Okay, did you ask about the lump uh, if during the day anytime it swells? Uh, it increases in size or does it remain the same throughout the day? Uh, this okay, no, I didn't ask about the timing. Timing, did you ask? 
no, no. I, but I, no. I asked whether it has it has rapidly increased in size, but I didn't ask about the timing during the day. No, I didn't. Yeah. yeah, this could be one question. If there, it was associated with uh, like it was small in the morning and then during the end it increased in size, or if there was anything which was making it increase and then or decrease in size. So this was one related to the presenting campaign, one question you could have asked. Uh, rest yes. of the questions, uh, they were all relevant and you did everything right until you asked about the social history. The question that you put forward was very wrong, which has been discussed before, that uh, you asked who is at whom did you, not the okay. marital status. Marital status does not count. It's yes, least important. So, yes, abdomen. Uh, say Tommy, yes. Okay. Yeah, say okay. Tommy. Yeah. And at the end, yeah. Yeah, I think. Uh, yes, at the end, I had to tell you that in the 30 second, when I asked you to summarize your case, then you have to give the positive findings. Once you were telling me, you'll go back and you'll listen. You, you said that patient has swelling, but then you have to tell it is associated with what and since how long, for how long the patient has has the complaint and it's yes. associated yeah. with what. In the stem, it's written patient has lost two pound of weight. So whatever patient mm. was telling you, so you have to narrate, you have to like mention that with the duration. Yes. Good, thank you.